There are three key reasons. One is lowering the risk associated with what would happen if the data would be incorrect that you deliver to the client. Second one is uh, the cost of, let's say, cloud computing or computing in general. Thirdly, having data quality checks in place makes the whole development cycle more agile. It removes friction connected to the constant firefighting and debugging what's going on in the application that we have. Also, as a, as a result of that, it makes also developers more happy people. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, introducing data quality makes engineers, data scientists happier, they are more productive. So that means you have much easier time in keeping them in the company, but also um, recruiting the new ones. Okay, so as I said, the main factor is the reputation. You can avoid having a hit on your reputation if you make sure that uh, the data you deliver is correct. So what do you avoid? Bad, deci bad decisions that happen based on actually bad data. We avoid unhappy clients because the data did not meet their standards. And how we do it? If we do it by automating the data quality checks, buyers and any solutions that we have, uh, although we still avoid those uh, issues, we also save the manpower in our company. They don't have to do those repetitive tasks. We don't take the basic power that you then can use to do something new, implement new features, let's say, and let the machines compute those repetitive checks, tasks, and any stuff, basically, that we want. Yeah, that's very important also from the point of view of regulations like GDPR and fines associated with that. So by having data quality checks in place, you can uh, avoid the risk of unintended use of uh, personally identifiable information. That applies to local regulation as, regulations as well, like CCPA in, in the US or uh, industry-specific regulations like uh, in telecoms or banking industry. Yes, they are. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the cloud computing costs that we have. If we implement the data quality checks and overall solutions, we can save um, on running ad hoc queries that the QA slash engineering team will have to run to investigate what's going wrong and where in the pipeline is the error. Uh, also, you know, garbage in, garbage out, right? So uh, when we actually implement those checks, we will immediately know where in our processing the data is incorrect and it's not what we expect it to be. So firstly, we can stop the processing. If we know that the data is garbage, we don't need to waste money for processing that further. Secondly, as I mentioned, we save on looking for where actually the data is not correct. Definitely, I agree. Uh, there is the cost of infrastructure. But there's also cost of having people in your company, right? There's a number of unnecessary meetings and all heads of text events that you can basically avoid if you have your data and your data quality under control. And you don't need to basically allocate budget for firefighting and keeping everything running because you already have it automated. Okay, so let's start with grabbing the low-hanging fruit first. There are checks that are no-brainers that you can implement. For example, checking if you have enough data, if you have specific fields in your data that you expect it to be. Also, you can also ask uh, domain experts that you have in your company for this kind of examples. What's more, you can also look for the past incidents that happened and make a lessons learned 
and implement those that, those issues that are the most commonly happening and most urgent. Yeah, of course, and it's a it's an iterative process. It's an iterative process, so you introduce more checks once you realize you need them. And also, it's super important that you invest into monitoring, into automation, and you come up with good rules about what to do in case of data quality breach, whether you filter out the incorrect data, whether you stop the pipeline, or maybe something else. Yes, exactly. And in terms of the technical knowledge, not the domain knowledge that you definitely possess, you can outsource this uh, whole effort to a company like us that we specialize in introducing data quality. We know about tools which we can use and which will be the most effective uh, in your specific use case. Well, from our experience, the data teams and engineer teams are usually very proactive on spotting the data quality issues. But it would be quite easier uh, to work with this data if there would be data contract in place. Yeah, very good point. But it um, depends a lot on the, on the organization. In some organizations, you do have control over the producer systems and their data contracts are a super good idea. But you have to keep in mind that in some organizations you rely on third-party data and introducing contracts is extremely hard. Yes, it's, it's always also good to ask an expert on implementing the, this kind of data contract or any, any other solution. Uh, why? Because mostly it's important to know the tools, but apart from the tools also the process is important, how to introduce data contract into your company, how to organize the collaboration between the teams and people within the teams. Yeah, but all in all, I agree, having a data contract in place is definitely an improvement. It helps to build up the data quality in your company. But introducing it sometimes is a very short sprint and a goal that is really easy to achieve. And sometimes it's a matter of fun. It depends on where you are. Let's start with legal slash uh, regulations people who will receive less cases to respond and to deal with. Logistics will be able to achieve more reliable supply chain. Also sales will have an additional leverage. They will be able to supply clients with trustworthy data that we can guarantee. Human resources will be in better position to acquire talent for a company focusing on implementing business value rather than fighting ad hoc uh, requests. So, to sum up, what do we gain from implementing data quality in the company? First thing, risk mitigation. Second one, cost optimization. Thirdly, we have better reaction time to what's happening on the market and major process of development. And fourthly, we have more motivated and less daunted people with uh, firefightings. They can focus on bringing new value to the company.